What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today I want to talk to you about SoFi. So SoFi is going through a little bit more of an issue today. I want to go over what the issue is, if it's something to worry about or not. As well, SoFi is also participating in a fireside chat in roughly around an hour. So I wanted to go over some of the data points, technicals, and everything that you need to know. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So right now it is down 2.8%, a fair amount of volume, so 16.79% million shares being traded 21 is the average broader market is just selling off unfortunately and that is largely because of the treasury yields as well as just raising or kind of increasing oil prices which usually does have a negative repercussion on the broader market and that is exactly what's happening and in SoFi's case uh, they also do have a fireside chat like I mentioned that is going to be at 105 Pacific and that is going to be with Anthony at the Goldman Sachs Communicapia Technology Conference so like I've said in the past uh, typically a lot of these fireside chats are very very good and and as well, later today, I do anticipate most likely a tweet coming out from Anthony once this issue is resolved. So this is definitely floating around and on a lot of people's minds today about SoFi Invest experiencing uh, obviously a system outage. And I've been there with brokerages on which um, obviously you can't have access to your money and nothing is worse, especially if you are a pretty active trader per se, to not have access to your money when you want it. Well, actually, regardless, it doesn't really matter, I guess, specifically on the time time frame it just whenever you do not have access to your money it just has a little bit more of a uneasiness um, if that makes sense or even if that's a word so when it comes down to it a lot of people as well are tweeting and expressing their displeasure towards it going out and the fact that they are going to be moving to Robin Hood in some cases so definitely this is something that Anthony does need to tweet about and in the past he's been fairly good about the transparency on why it has been and usually after it's resolved yeah he does a tweet or some PR or something like that so hopefully that does come out and he does still that same level of transparency later today but when it comes to it as well as far as some updates this did come out uh, fairly recently so a couple days ago but it does show SoFi is going to be underwriting its first IPO and this is something that SoFi has actually had the ability to offer a lot of its members is for them to participate in these IPOs so Instacart um, definitely will be probably not the most successful successful in my opinion but of course I'm not a financial advisor but regardless of that I think this is a fairly big milestone for SoFi so you kind of get both extremes so this is a little bit more of a positive whereas the outage is a little bit more of a negative so starting off with some of the data points though so with options 2.4 million dollars in calls being purchased today versus 1.01 million in puts so based on this people clearly are anticipating for it to trend up from here and that today is just a little bit more of an overreaction if you are optimistic looking at the calls this is all the strike prices expiry dates it is anticipated to go between the 859 dollar range by the end of next week so of course that's a fairly positive thing and like i've said over the last i think three or four videos it is just wedge bound between that 50 and 100 day moving average so right now it's just waiting for either an opportunity to break out but it needs that justification and as of right now the market's not really giving anything to sofi to kind of break out or vice versa nothing really coming out from the company to really justify either direction so it's just going to continue to be wedge bound right now between those points but I'll touch on a little bit more of a detailed technicals in a second. As far as big money buying or any transactions, only four transactions today so far on the secondary market over $100,000. So kind of interesting um, about that. So as you can see, um, majority of them are sells, unfortunately, and you can tell that based on the bid or the ask. So let me know your thoughts on that. As far as dark pool, dark pool has been very popular with SoFi for a very long time. So these are all the transactions that have occurred um, on that. And when it comes down to dark pool, very much linked to shorting. So I'll give you an overview of that. So short score is currently 56. Utilization is 22.06%. And as of right now, it does show shorts are increasing 168,000 shares. So obviously by interpreting this data by them increasing on a red day, it kind of shows that 
in their opinion at least, is kind of justified. So on this channel, all I like to do is just lay out the facts and the data points, my interpretation of that, and then of course you guys can take from that what you will. So this is where you're getting conflicting information, so one of which is this, so the options is generally fairly bullish, whereas what shorts are doing today is a little bit more bearish. So when it comes down to the technicals, I think for the longest time it has been kind of neutral, just waiting for that X factor to either drive it up or down. But 12.81% of the free floats being shorted, 103.25 million shares overall are being shorted, and 0.79% is the cost to borrow average. So kind of low, uh, like I've already said in the past. And one thing as well, just wanted to bring up. Um, so of course, there's that fireside chat. But other than that, no actual press releases like that. But as far as SEC filings, there was one that did come out yesterday, a form four. And a lot of people seem to be talking about this because this isn't being seen in a positive light. And that is Jeremy Rochelle, who is the CTO, it looks like they did sell some shares and it wasn't for tax purposes or anything like that. It was just just a straight up sell and they did sell 53,000 shares which I know isn't the most amount of shares by any means but still it's something to note and so again transaction code s right here I'll just kind of zoom it in just so you can see so transaction code s does mean that it was a sale transaction did occur on September the 1st and it was a sell for like I mentioned that 53,532 shares at a price of eight dollars and 88 cents so once again you never really want to see a lot of insider selling for whatever reason but still it is what it is so as far as going back to the technicals for a second my apologies for being all over the place but with SoFi currently being at eight dollars and 48 cents it is currently between this s1 and the pivot so 799 is a very strong support vice versa 922 is a very strong resistance and like i've signaled in the past it's just stuck between the 50 and 100 day moving averages and it's kind of wide so you do have to anticipate a lot of volatility and looking at almost every single day there's been a lot of volatility so, of course, volatility is a option trader's best friend. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. And if you are doing options, give yourself a shout out in the comments of potentially what you're doing, whether you're doing calls, puts, uh, whatever else it might be. So give yourself a shout out in the comments below. And with all of that, let me know your thoughts as far as do you think that we're going to be breaking above the 50 day moving average? Or do you think that the market is going to continue this downtrend and we are going to be breaking below this 100 day moving average? So what's your viewpoint on all this? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with all that said, I appreciate y'all watching.